Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X research and professional physicist. And today I'd like to bring to you another one of my articles. This one is entitled, Can the Human Body Detect Planet X Approaching the Earth's Surface? Now, as I have detailed in many previous articles, Planet X system objects are closely approaching the surface of the Earth and creating gravitational anomalies on the Earth's surface. Some of these anomalies come in the form of tidal events such as the ocean recession event which occurred in Thailand at the end of June 2018. And you may look at article 267 entitled Planet X and the recent ocean recession event in Thailand for more details. And here's a photograph of that event. As you can see, you can see a beach uh, emptied of water and uh, unprecedented event. And this is the harbor. You can see the boat sitting on the mud and this had never happened before. Now, uh, Earth's normal tides are created by the moon and any other tidal effect must be created by a massive object approaching the Earth. The fact that high tides such as what occurred during hurricanes Florence and Michael as well as low tide events occur indicates that gravity is a stationary density wave which produces both highs and lows in density. In the case of Hurricane Florence, there is evidence that both a high and a low tide event occurred at the same time. And you may look at Article 345 entitled Hurricane Florence, Tidal Event and Gravity Waves for more details. And this is what uh, these waves look like. So a stellar core close to the surface of the Earth and over the ocean will produce a gravitational or tidal wave with a central minimum. That's why there's a hollow in the center. From above, that's what it would look like. This is a cross-section of it. So it would look like this water wave, but it will remain stationary. A water wave will spread out, but a gravitational wave will stay in place. It will not... Uh, move unless the object moves. Um, a large object at a greater distance will produce a wave of a larger radius. That is, there's a larger distance between the bulges. Now, uh, the wave produces regions of higher than normal and lower than normal density on the surface of the Earth. So this high tide ring, uh, the tidal bulges in, a, in this form of the ring, uh, will be a region of low density of water. And this region producing this hollow here, and that's an ocean recession event, will be a region of higher density of water. Now, as one of these objects approach the Earth and passes over a certain region, it will create a density wave, which will move across the surface of the Earth in the same direction as the object. So alternative regions of high and low density will move across the surface of the Earth. So these would move across. This can produce effects which are detectable by the human body. First of all, a person will feel slightly heavier under the effect of the high density part of the wave and lighter under the effect of the low density part of the wave. But the effect is likely to be small for now and thus difficult to detect. However, liquids will be far more impacted by the density differences as the gravitational anomaly passes by. This is because the internal electrostatic forces between molecules in solids act against the tendency for expansion and contraction as the wave passes. Whilst these forces are greatly reduced in liquids, so the effects will be much more pronounced in liquids. So if a person is in a pool or bath full of water, there should be a detectable change to the buoyancy which the water will provide. The buoyancy force is a consequence of the change in pressure which water exerts on a submerged object with depth and is called Archimedes' principle. When the water becomes density as the high density which produces the ocean recession um, part of the wave passes, the person will feel an increased sense of buoyancy in the water. This may even be felt if only part of the body is immersed in water, not necessarily the whole body. The more intense the planet X object's gravitational influence, the greater will be the effect.
This effect is likely to increase as the objects uh, approaching Earth continue to increase in size and if they continue to approach the surface of the Earth at increasingly closer distances. So this is illustrated here with uh, this a person's leg uh, submerged in water. So this person is basically standing in water. And this is with no stellar core, or it's another name for these planet X objects. Um, there will be the force downwards. This is the weight of the leg. And this would be the buoyancy force, which will be due to the change in pressure with depth. And that is equal to the weight of the water displaced by the leg. So it's equal to the mass of the water times the gravitational acceleration. And the mass is equal to density times volume. And that density there is the density of the water. So the fact that we have a, an equation for the buoyancy force with density of the water means that as the gravity wave passes by, and the density goes to a maximum because you in the high density phase of the wave then the buoyancy force will increase and as the buoyancy force will increase the person will actually feel lighter will feel like the water is providing more of a lift than before of course, during the the high the lower density part of the wave as it passes by, then the buoyancy force will decrease because the density of the water will decrease. And the level of the water should increase slightly at that time, whilst the level should decrease at this time. But that effect may be uh, a little too small to be easily detectable, whilst the buoyancy, the, the buoyancy force that occurs when the high density uh, phase uh, of the wave passes through should be able, a person should be able to feel that. So in conclusion, the passage of a planet X object close to the surface of the Earth is likely to be detectable by the human body as an increase in the buoyancy force provided by water during the high density phase. In the next article, I will detail a simple experiment which anyone can do to detect the passage of a Planet X object overhead. And these are the references. This is Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X physicist. Thank you for watching.